Hi, I'm Beth Harold, founder and CEO of Outside the Box Creation, with another quick video for you today of an art project you can do at home with your kids using materials you probably already have lying around your house. Today we're going to make torn or cut paper collages. Here's one of a tree. As you can see, you could get as elaborate or as simplistic as you'd like. You can do just an object in the middle of the page, or you could fill in all around it with, with other things. Collages are great because you can tear the paper or you can cut it, but it's a great opportunity for kids to look at colors and values and shapes. So the first thing that you need is what we call in the art world a support, something to collage onto. This is just a piece of paper that was in some sort of a package that we got here. It's actually not paper, it's cardboard, but it's very thin. You could use this sort of thing. You could cut the side of a cereal box or a cracker box or a piece of corrugated cardboard that's maybe a flap on a box that you had something shipped to you in. You can also do it on paper, but I find that stuff like copy paper is pretty thin and that can be a little bit problematic with kids. So find some sort of support. It can be very rough. It doesn't have to be pretty. Go through your recycle bin and look for newspapers, old magazines, flyers, any type of junk mail is fair game and it's a great way to reuse and recycle. What I would do is have the kids go through and pull out things that they're attracted to the colors and then rip them up or cut them up into smaller pieces and make piles by color so that when they do go to do their collage, they can just reach over, say, oh, I want some of that purple, or I want some of that pink, or some of that green, and put it on their collage. And challenge them to not just look for solid colors, but to look for textures and interesting things. For instance, this is a page out of a magazine. It's an ad, I think, for deodorant. And I love this blue color, so you could rip around the words or you can include the words and use the blue color, make a blue pile. This was out of a magazine and it was a photograph of Mount St. Helens. And I loved it because it's got some really fun different colors in there, but also some really fun texture. So that's really great too. I also really like using newspaper with the text on it. You can also be as figurative as you want this is clearly a tree, although it's not totally realistic. You can tell what it is. Take a look at this one. It's kind of a landscape, right? But it's not totally realistic. Super fun. And some of these are much larger pieces too. So you can rip them into smaller pieces or you can rip them into larger pieces. So the first thing I would have the kids do, once you've got your support, and you've got some piles of different colors, is to do some sort of a drawing and then either transfer the drawing onto their support or just use it to look at and be let it be abstract. If they want to transfer the drawing onto the support, you can use carbon paper or you can just take a pencil like this and color all over the back of this. And then when you lay it on your support and you push really hard, it will act like carbon paper and it will transfer it to your support. For this one, what I did was I did a background first with newspaper. And I actually really love how the strips of newspaper give it um, kind of a, um, a pattern in the back and a rhythmic quality. And I like the contrast between the newspaper and the colored pieces of paper. And then I transferred my drawing onto the support and just got creative. Here's another one, very simplistic. If you have a younger child, they may just want to do one big shape in the middle of the paper. But it's fun to use different textures. And while this is figurative, you can tell it's a flower, it's still kind of abstract too because you're not going to find a flower exactly like that. So I hope you have fun doing the project. Use all the materials in your recycle bin. You can tear the paper or you can cut the paper. You probably all have safety kid scissors around or you can use some of your scissors that are a little more pointed and detail oriented if you have older kids. And then really any type of glue, 
If you're using a liquid Elmer's glue, I would squirt it out onto another piece of cardboard and have the kids use their fingers or a brush so they don't do big blobs in the middle of their picture. I love the good old trusty glue sticks too. Hope you have fun.